I wish someone would have told me that sacrificing my boundaries in the name of empathy wasn't noble. Hey, my people, so go watch her video. This is part four of this saga. I know it's long and it's drawn out, but it's something I need to say at least for myself. So we had just lost mom. And I started communicating with my dad every single day because he told me that he wouldn't even hear from my brother who lived in the same town sometimes for a week or more. I'm a half a country away. About a year and a half after mom died, we lost my brother. Complications due to a hip replacement. That is a story for another time because it is tragic. After I lost David, my dad contacted me and says, you know what? I think you need to hold on to this family. You need to get back in contact with your sister and you guys need to heal your relationship. You need to do this for me. I told him, I was like, I don't want to ever talk to my abuser again. He goes, oh God, no, not her. Because she was actually being looked into at that time for possibly poisoning her husband, who everybody thought was dying of dementia and come to find out he wasn't. But that's a story for another time. He's like, no, your sister. Like, she only contacts me when she wants something. And after a lot of begging and pleading for months, I finally gave in because my dad was like, what's going to happen to you when I die? You have no family. You have no kids. You have no one to turn to. So I gave in and I was like, fine, give her my number. We talked for a while. Every few months, just some casual politeness and that was it. And I was like, okay. I'd laid down some really heavy ground rules with her and was like, I will cut you out of my life forever if you do any of this again. And then we lost my dad. Just a few months before we lost Dad, I found out why my family treated me differently than my entire life. But that's a story for another time. After Dad died, things with my sister changed. She no longer felt the need for her pleasantries anymore. All the old behaviors started coming up again. The dragging me into things, blaming me, accusing me, making me feel small, insignificant, and like everything was my fault. She did that over the phone. I was a half a country away. Sometimes we have to cut out the malignant tumors that are family to save ourselves. And that's what I have done. I only have communication with one of my nieces and that's only when she's feeling nostalgic and lonely. There comes a point in time when you have to decide your self-preservation is much more important than the idea of family. And that's the parts that we have to hold on to. It's not easy, but we're worth it.